Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good morning. I um, haven't been up very long, um, but my morning's off to a good start. Well, I have some fun things today. You can probably see over here in the corner beside me some little mouse houses. Elephant and Piggy are back today, and um, we have lots of things going on. So I thought, oh, one thing I did forget to do again today, I forgot to write our sight words on cards. Oh, I keep forgetting that every day. So today I'm going to write them on, let's try orange and green. And I'm going to write the words that we're going to be reading about today. You ready for them? I think you might know these words. If you don't know the words, I can give you a hint. This is the first one. O-N-E. Now, you can't sound this one out. This one doesn't make sense. You can't make the oh, 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 mm, 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 mm. You can't sound it out because it doesn't work that way. Let's make the O. O. Now make the N. Down, back up, and over. The E over, up, and around. You guys are getting so good at these. This is this word. It means the same thing as this does. Got it? Got it? One. This is the word one. Now, you might go, what, what, what? One is supposed to start with W. Well, there's another one. Like, I won the race. I won the game. That one does start with a W. It's a different word. But this is the number one, O-N-E, one. Hmm. So do you have a guess what the other word is that we're going to practice today? Do you have a guess? It starts with a t, t, t sound. This is what it is. Two, T-W-O. You ready? T W O two. Now, this one you can't sound out either because if you sound it out, two, it sounds like two. Oh, oh, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes there are English words that you just can't sound out, so you have to memorize them. That's called sight words. You don't sound them out, you just learn them because you see them all the time when you read. Well, we're going to see these book words when we read our books today. You ready? Do you have a pair of glasses? I have mine. Do you have a book? And open it up. Ooh. Oh my goodness, there's a pink snake in there. Shut that book. Do you guys ever get tired of this song? I bet your mommies and daddies can hear this song in their dreams at night. And open it up. Whoop. Oh my goodness, it's a purple dinosaur. Shut that book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, read, read. And I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, read, read. And I look, 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 I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. Well, our first book that we're going to read today is called One Foot, Two Feet. You have one foot or you have two feet. All right, by Peter Maloney and Felicia Zakowskis, an exceptional 
counting book. One foot, two feet. I like his star socks, don't you? For our two sons, Christian and Ian. All right, here we go. One foot. Oh, look, there's a window in this page. Do you see the window? I can put my finger through it. Two feet. Oh, I spy a two hiding on her band-aid. Look. And look at the airplane on the jammies. Oh, you'll have to be watching this book carefully. Look at this book carefully. Over here, there's a one. This book has a lot of hiding things in it. A lot of exciting things going on. One mouse. What do you think is through the window? What do you think? You think two mice? You think? Let's see. Oh, three mice. Three mice. Three mice. Ah, oh, let's turn the page. You ready? One goose. One goose. Go guess. Is it two geese? Four geese. One, two, three, four. And look on the egg. There's the number four. Do you see the airplane? The things over here getting counted. One, two feet, three mice. What's going to be next on the next page? Four geese. You're right. One snowman. Five snowmen. Do you spy the number five hiding in this picture? Can you find it? You're right, it's right there on the snowman's belly. Five snowmen. One die. You just call one of these a die, not dice. Dice is more than one. One die. Six dice. Do you spy the number six? I do too. Do you spy the airplane? I do too. One ox. One ox. Hmm. Seven oxen. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I like that their tails are stars. Do you see their tails? They're stars. Can you spy the number seven? Where is it? There it is. You're right. On the cowbell. One octopus. Hmm. What do you think? Eight octopi you call them octopi eight octopi it's smart that they're on the number eight because octopi have eight legs eight octopi one tooth one tooth nine teeth Where's the number nine? Oh, I don't spy it. I may have to turn it around and look carefully because I can't see it. Ah, it's hard to see. Do you see it? It's right there. The floss. See the dental floss they're using to scrub their teeth? 
the dental floss is in the shape of a nine. Nine teeth. One person. One person. Ten people. Where's the number 10? Do you see it? I see it. It's on his sunscreen bottle. 10 people. You want to count them? Come up to the screen and put your fingers on them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 1 child. Look, he caught his airplane again. A billion children. Look at all the children. Do you really think that's a billion? I don't think that's a billion, but there might be a billion children in the world. Look at the last page. All the numbers. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool book, right? Yeah, I think so too. Well, I thought that I would invite you guys to grab your shaky eggs that you made because my friend Kai and I Zoomed yesterday and Kai said, I made my shaky egg finally. Can we sing the shaky egg song? So we're going to sing two songs today. Circle time might be a little long today, but that's okay. So get your chicken egg out and let's sing, I Know a Chicken. Are you ready? Here we go. I know a chicken and she laid an egg. I know a chicken and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness. It's a shaky egg. Now shake it Shake it fast. Shake your whole body. Shake them. Fast. Shake it fast. Woo! I know a chicken and she laid an egg. I know a chicken and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness, it's a shaky egg. Take them slow. No, how it goes. You ready? Shake them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know a chicken. I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. She laid an egg. Oh my 
Good job, boys and girls. Wow. I think that it's time for Elephant and Piggy to come and join us. Elephant and Piggy, are you coming? Here we are. We're here. How are you guys today? Hi, good. Me too. You know, I'm glad you guys came to Circle Time together today so that one of you weren't sad. Yeah, I made a mistake yesterday. I was so excited. I left Elephant behind. You did, but do you know what? I heard elephants forgive you. Yeah, Piggy just gets so excited. Hey, Piggy, guess what? What? I have a joke for you today. <gasps> I love jokes. Hmm. What's your joke? Hmm. What's your joke? Well, let me see. Do you have a joke? What's my joke? No. Oh, I remember the joke now. <laughs> Why isn't a teddy bear ever hungry? Hmm. I don't know. Why isn't a teddy bear ever hungry? Because he's stuffed. <laughs> he's always stuffed, boys and girls. I love it. That's hilarious. Good one, elephant. It took you long enough to think of it. I know. I forget things sometimes. Wow, boys and girls. Elephant and Piggy taught us a new song yesterday, and they're going to help us with the song again today. It's about opposites. What are opposites? Do you know? They're things that are different. You're right. It, the song goes like this. We'll sing a song of opposites. I'm sure that you will see. Whenever things are opposite, they're different as can be. Well, yesterday we talked about the opposites, go and stop. Today, Piggy and Elephant have new opposites that you're learning. They have some new ones to show you. Are you coming, Piggy and Elephant? Oh, look, these are some of our sight words from last week also. Piggy has Y-E-F. What does that spell? Do you remember? Yes. An elephant has N-O. No. Yes and no are opposites. They're different as can be. We'll sing a song of opposites. I'm sure that you will see. Whenever things are opposite, they're different as can be. Elephant and Piggy, thanks for coming. I appreciate you helping us learn about opposites. I think tomorrow I'll have a joke. I'd like that, Piggy. You know what, boys and girls? Piggy's my best friend. Gerald is my best friend. You know what? We miss our friends a lot right now. I'm glad that you guys can still be together because you guys are imaginary characters. And so you guys can be together. But the boys and girls from my class, they can't be together right now. I think they miss each other a lot. Yeah, if I couldn't be with Elephant, I would miss him so much. Me too, Piggy. Let's go play. Off they go to play. They're going to go play together. You know, boys and girls, I know you're missing your friends a lot. But I think that it will be extra wonderful, extra, extra, extra wonderful when we can finally get back together, don't you? We miss them a lot now, but just think how wonderful it's gonna be when you can finally go to the playground and play with them again. Wow, look over here. I have a red house and a blue house and a yellow house. Little mouse, little mouse, what do you think? Do you have a guess? Are you looking carefully at the houses? What color? I'm going to choose my favorite color. Do you remember what my favorite color is? Red. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the R-E-D red house? No! 
What do you think? Oh, you see a clue. There's a clue. What's the clue? You see something sticking out from under the blue house? Right there? I didn't see that at first. You think we should try the blue house then? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the blue house? There he is, little mouse is in the blue house. B-L-U-E. Do you think there's anything in the yellow house? No, I didn't use all the animals today, only little mouse. Y-E-L-L-O-W, yellow. Little Mouse came to play today. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you wore some colorful clothes today because I promised you yesterday that we were gonna do the color song again. And guess what? I forgot. So I only have a few colors on. I have purple and gray and blue, only three colors. So I am not going to get to dance as much as you might get to dance. So. Let's see if we can find, Mrs. Fryman is trying. Let's see, I'm trying to find what I'm looking for. There we go, what are you wearing color song? Here we go, you ready? Oh, an ad. Okay, here we go. This is a song about the color of your clothes. You ready? What colors are you wearing today? I'm not wearing red. Are you jumping? Jump, jump, jump. I don't have orange on either. Turn around. Turn around. If you're wearing blue, you are wearing tap your toes. Tap, tap, tap your toes. I'm tapping my toes. See me bending over to tap my toes? Tap, tap, tap. If you're wearing purple, if you are wearing purple. Stomp, stomp, stomp. your nose. I wore green yesterday. I remember touching my nose. Do you remember the colors you had on yesterday? If you're wearing yellow, if you are wearing yellow, hooray. Not me. Yesterday I did. Hooray. Yay. That's a fun song, boys and girls. I like that new song. Wow. For some of you, this might be the end of circle time because it's getting a little long. So I want to show you our words one more time. One, two, one, two. And I'm going to read another book that has one and two on it. It doesn't have one and two all through the book, but it does have a one and a two. And I bet you know this book. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One, two, red, blue are all sight words that we're learning. Now, this is a silly book and it's a kind of a long book. So just in case you're getting tired of listening, I wanted to give you a heads up that it's okay if you have to leave. I understand. Dr. Seuss has a great imagination. When he was alive, he wrote books about so many silly things. When you draw pictures, do you draw real things or do you draw imaginary things? Some people have a wonderful imagination and can draw all kinds of things. This says, from here to there, from there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Hmm. You see that little guy? Funny things are everywhere. Do you think there's going to be some funny things in this book? Let's see. 
One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. Wait, those are opposites, old and new. I wish elephant and piggy were here. I would show them old and new. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue and some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. Some have, oh, there's a word again. Some have two feet and some have four. Some have six feet, some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they've come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Oh, more opposites, fast and slow. Some are high and some are low. That one of them is like another. Don't ask us why, go ask your mother. Look at all those imaginary things. Aren't they cool? Say, look at his fingers. Oh, there's our numbers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven, this is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Do you wish you had eleven fingers? Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man named Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gump. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hump, wump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our Mike sits in the back, you see. We like our Mike, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me what is new. How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. This is how we're having to talk to our friends now by the phone, right? Because you can't see them. So Ned is answering. I do not like this bed at all. Uh, at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Look at all the things that came to visit in his house and in his bed. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I cannot hear. Will you please come over here? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, hey, look, a bird was in your ear, but he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. 
We saw him sit and try to t cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is a hook cookbook? These are tongue twisters. Are you getting confused about the silly things everywhere? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. Near and far are opposites too. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have them in the house. Loud, quiet. They're opposites as well. At our house, we have, at our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans, and that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I have a can opener. I don't have a Zans. What if you had a Zans to open your cans? Do you think mommy would like to have a Zans in the corner of her kitchen? I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing hi. My ying sings low. We are no, not so bad, you know. This one I think is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. And all I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, hop. I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from left to right and left, from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Do you wish you had a little yop that you could play with? Brush, 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 brush. Comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Ooh, girls, would you like to have a pet with long blue hair like that that you could brush and comb? and braid and put barrettes in and ponytails. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Oh my goodness, look how wet he is. They did not take care of their pet. They left him out in the rain, no, no. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it, we know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun and fun is good. Oh my goodness, there are silly things everywhere. I think if we tried to walk with our cats on our head, they would claw us. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello? I called you up to say hello. I said, hello, can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good and I know why. A mouse has cut my wire. Goodbye. Look, look, the mouse cut his wire. So silly. That's something you can do at home with your mommy and daddy. You can get two cups and tie them together with a long string. And you can stretch the string out and talk in the cup and you can hear it. That's really cool. You should try it, Mom and Dad. It's so much fun. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say they need a haircut every day. Look at his bowl of hair. He's snipping every hair one at a time. Snip, snip, snip. 
that's kind of like my grass on my bear head. It keeps growing. Maybe I can have Maggie bring it to me. You won't believe it. It's still growing. Who am I? My name is Ish, and on my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. Come here, Maggie. Look what Maggie brought me. She brought my bear hair, and it's growing again. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. She's going to put it back and give it some water so it keeps growing. I have a dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish, swish. And then I say, I wish for fish, and I get fish right on my dish. So if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play out back. We have a game we call Ring the Gack. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only gack in town. Oh, ring the gack. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. We will give him our, we will, he will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. What if you found something like that in the park? Would you bring it home? I don't think so. I would leave it at the park. And now, good night. It's time to sleep, so we will sleep with our pet, Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day from here to there, funny things are everywhere. The end. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for coming to Circle Time. That is such a long book. That's why I read it last. But if you stayed all the way to the end, I wonder if you'll see any funny things today. Will you see anything funny? Anything silly? Will you draw something funny? Will you make something funny? Will you make some puppets and tell silly jokes? It's boring to be home with coronavirus quarantine, but you have to make your own fun. Have fun, because guess what? We're stuck at home, so do something silly. Turn on some music and dance. Make puppets, tell jokes. Find something fun to do. There's always something fun to do because you're with the people who love you most. So enjoy them. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, boys and girls. See you tomorrow.